Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. First off, got a nice flood of new subscribers over the weekend, almost 100 new subscribers. So that's a big move for my channel. So to all the new subscribers out there, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around. I've got 22 orders. I could pull today, but it is a Monday. I do have golf and kind of got a late start to the day. So there's only two that have to go out today. So I'll just work until I run out of time, basically. I could get them all out today, not a ton of, it's actually mostly easy packers, first class, items that don't need any bubble wrap of any kind, just toss them in a poly bag or a bubble mailer. Also, this is final the final week for golf. This is position night for me. Don't get too excited. For the seventh year in the row, I'm probably going to finish in one of two positions. There's 28 teams, 30 teams, usually bounces around that area. And every single season, I finish between, well, the best I've ever done was 12th, my team, and the worst I've ever done is 15th. But, but six of the seven years, finished 14th or 15th. We're very middle of the road. We don't even really have to try. This year, actually, we would have finished much higher, but we both had to take a ghost, if you know what that means, whatever. We both had to take a big old goose egg on a week, and it really plummeted us. Not that you care about any of that information anyways, but this will be the last time I mention that I have golf until next season. That is a little sad now that I'm saying that out loud. I did, we have the, um, Humane Society, the big Humane Society sale. They take over our entire fairgrounds, multiple large buildings. People from town donate all the, basically all the stuff that Goodwill and Salvation Army won't take, which is a lot of stuff in my area. It's kind of, I would compare it to going to the bins, uh, the Goodwill bins, where you're digging through a lot of trash, you're digging through a lot of gross, see a lot of gloves on people. But yeah, it's, it's, you can find good stuff. I found myself turning down a lot of stuff that I would have got before. Vision glass, Corningware, I passed on a bunch of Pyrex lids I normally would have picked up. Stuff that I just really don't have space to list, so I'm not going to buy it. If I sell a bunch of stuff and I run into room, I'll go back to buying those types of things, but right now I don't have space for it, so why would I buy things that are going to be low returns, all the above? Everything over here, basically, is what I got, except for these priority boxes I ordered from USPS. But the one thing, I'll try to go over it and do a haul video. The one thing I want to point out because Jen's already been listing it, so it'll be gone before I get a chance to, is I, and this was the best thing I got. This is two bags, and she already listed some of it, of replacement straps for your webbed woven lawn furniture. Um, some of it is new. Some of it is not. The new will probably get listed individually. The loose stuff, probably one big lot, not really sure. I paid 10 bucks for both bags. And then there was also this kind, the corded kind for the, I don't know what, corded uh, woven lawn chairs. Although she already listed this morning, but I paid 10 bucks for the two bags, not 10 bucks both, 10 bucks total. Cause I didn't really know what they were worth. I just kind of, I know these are gonna be worth something. I even passed on a couple of the lawn chairs, the woven lawn chairs. There's good money in those. You know, 50 bucks a chair. Some of them even more, depending on the color. I don't wanna store them. I don't wanna ship them. If you have ample storage space, and and I mean storage space not only for the item, but storage space for the packing material, the boxes, all that, go for it. You find them all the time, get them for cheap, and and you can make great money selling those. That's just an item. I have three of them sitting in storage right now. I know I'm never gonna list them because I'm I'm not gonna store them. I'm not, I mean, I'm currently storing them, but they'll end up in the garage sale next year probably, or just in our yard. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. And actually, speaking of the priority boxes, let's go tip of the day. And the tip of the day today is order your fourth quarter supplies now. Get ahead of it. Order your extra bubble wrap, extra boxes. And if this is your first season reselling, your sales will amp up in fourth quarter. Almost guaranteed. There are, I guess, depending on what you sell, there could be a slim chance that it wouldn't. But across the board, for almost everyone, 
end of third quarter, beginning of fourth quarter is the peak. It's where it really ramps up. So just get your shipping supplies now before it's a rush. Whatever you normally would order, order an extra 10%, order an extra 20%. Things like bubble wrap, you're gonna use them anyways. It's better to have it and not need it than to not have it and need it. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy one right there, but definitely something, again, reminder to myself as well as you. First thing going out today on A2 is Black Flag Loose Nut on cassette. Uh, this one right here. I would got a, a lot of alternative rock, punk rock cassettes. Uh, this was, I think, the best one in the lot. I sent out a pretty good offer. Um, I think 10 bucks off of what I had it listed, but either way, $29.99 for this cassette right here. Single cassette that I paid, I think, less than 25 cents for. I paid very little. Next thing going out, B3C is an LG Scoop. It's a cell phone, B3C. I see it's sitting right on top. This I also took a pretty decent offer on. I think it might have been listed $19.99 free shipping, but I'm not trying to hang on to outdated cell phones. I'm just glad somebody wanted to buy it. $10 free shipping. That is okay with me. If you're, con if you're curious, it's an AX260. And I was talking with one of my friends about how now there's really only, you know, what, three phones that matter. iPhone, Galaxy, name the third phone. I don't really know. I'm an iPhone person, so I... I've had an iPhone since third generation iPhones. So I, I'm just, I'm stuck at this point. Uh, but the, how cool you were, how cool you were back in the day could be, was almost directly related to what phone you got. If you had the razor in like the right color, you were too cool. Now there was just so many options, so many colors. But now, like I said, there's like three options. They all look the same. It doesn't really matter. You put a case on it, whatever. But $10 free shipping on that one. Next going out, uh, C3 is gunned. Uh, it's two teddy bears. One's a 13 inch, and I don't remember what the other one is. I went through the store. It's like a mini one here. I lotted these together because I was trying to dive into the um, plush category. And whenever I try to get into a new category, I'll buy stuff I shouldn't have. Just because I'm trying to learn. I see. I know Gund is a popular brand, a better brand. So I saw Gund, I was buying it up, whatever. But those have been listed for, I think, like two years. It's been a long time. I went through the store and things that, to my eye, I was like, oh, wow, this has been around a long time, a long time, a long time. I reduced the price on those things by 5 to $10. I was, I'm like, let's get them moving, especially if they were bigger, taking up a little space. But that was one of the items that got reduced. And then on top of that, sent out an offer, $15.99 free shipping. I, I don't think I made any money on that because the free shipping is going to be, you know, five-ish bucks. And then I probably paid, you know, around $3 a piece. I remember getting them at Salvation Army. So right there, you're at 11 bucks plus fees. I'm making a few dollars, but it's time to move along with that item. And that is okay. You can even take a loss because a partial loss is still better than a complete loss. And when something's taking up space and you have limited space, that's actually costing you money. If you have to get another storage unit, if you have to buy another shelf because you're holding on for an extra $2 on a bad item, that's costing you money. Next thing going out on D4 is a Callaway Big Bertha Steelhead cover. One, two, three, four. Should be, I did rearrange the shelves a little bit. So normally they would have been over there. Ah, here we go, tucked back in here. Oh, well, I see one. So when I see one, there must be a second, right? There must be a second. That's what I get for assuming. Also, that's what I get for not wearing my glasses. It's on D4. I had listed a bunch of club head covers at one point that I got from my local golf course where my league's at, at the end of the season. They were cleaning out the lost and found. So I assumed that's where it was. You know what they say about assuming. So that's on me. But this one right here, Big Bertha Steelhead, not in great condition. 
but people like to have the, the cover that goes to their clubs. And for that one right there, on sale, $12.59 free shipping. Unfortunately, since last year, management has changed at my golf course, so I don't think I'm gonna get to score all those club head covers again, because that was awesome. Because they said, just take whatever ones you want. We're just, we're gonna throw them away if you don't take them. So I said, okay. I took, I don't know, 20 of them. At the low end, they were $14.99 free shipping, but there was one specifically that was over $50. It was a uh, Scotty Cameron putter cover. That was, ooh, that was good to get. Love free high-end inventory. And I do consider $50 and up high-end. Next thing going out is Jimmy Buffett hot water. John, there we go. Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett hot water. I got this at Salvation Army, so I probably would have paid $2.99 or half off day. Buck fifty, twenty two forty nine free shipping. I think that was on sale. I ran a sale over the weekend. I tried something new because I usually do. I go back and forth. Twenty percent off, whatever items I select, around hundred to one hundred fifty items, or ten percent off the whole store. And I go back and forth. This time instead, I ran a twelve percent off on the whole store. Just seeing if there was a cup, if there maybe there was some items where they were like right on the cusp. Maybe had overpriced by just a little bit, and so that an extra two percent maybe would help. And sales did seem to pick up. Are those related? I don't know. I figured it was worth a shot. So $22.49 going out the door. I don't get Jimmy Buffett. I don't understand it. Huge star. Mega star. Millions of albums. I think he's still touring now. He's got restaurants and tequilas and all the kinds of stuff. He's got a beer. The beer is actually pretty good. Landshark. I think that's the name of it. Pretty good. Like a Corona. But I just don't get it. Jimmy Buffett. Not a fan. Don't, don't enjoy it. Don't like it. Not, not a fan. And I'm a beach rock fan. I'm a yacht rock fan. So I don't know. Just not a Jimmy Buffett guy. Next up, A1 Vintage Wilson SB something or other baseball glove. Wilson SB. Oh, I think I got it on the first try. Wilson. Yep. SB special. Let's double check the, is it A9821? A9821 right there. And this glove's in okay condition not great it looks worse than it is but in its day this was a fantastic glove so i could see why even in that condition 1349 plus shipping and i'll make a couple dollars on the shipping because i'm going to put it into a padded flat rate envelope but i didn't put the shipping as a padded flat rate envelope i just put it as regular priority so it gets charged dimensionally and by weight and then I put in a flat rate and I make an extra buck, which really it's, it's about an extra buck, not, not anything crazy. Also, while I'm thinking of shipping, I had mentioned before that big box of books I sent media mail was actually cheaper, or I was going to send media mail, was actually cheaper to send USPS parcel select, which I, that was crazy to me. To clarify, that is because I get an eBay discount on priority to just buy your shipping. And if you do it through, pro you don't have to be have an eBay discount. You can just use a pirate ship discount. But if you didn't have a discount, the media mail would still be the cheaper option. But then the other day I had three orders to go out. It was a busy day. I didn't film a video. I just pulled the three orders and shipped them out and went out in my day. But I, I sold a, a DVD. Um, I actually have two of them so I can show you which DVD because it was interesting. I had listed this Pizza Hut home co ho honeymoon in Vegas free giveaway DVD thing from whenever this movie came out or whenever they did this special. And then I randomly found a second one. The second one was free. The soon as I picked it up and I only had to go quantity two. So that's why I did it. But when I originally listed it, there was none listed. I said, I'll, I'll list it. Doesn't take up any space. Why not? So I was surprised that it actually sold. It was I think two years plus, so not really worth hanging on to, but what did it hurt? But the point of that is that that item was actually cheaper to send first class than media mail. It went one state over. It was three ounces, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. It was cheaper by one penny to go first class, but that's an upgraded service. It's going to get there in less time or it could get there in less time, but the max time is definitely less, but it was just weird. I 
I'll pay attention to it more. It's not huge amounts of money, but it's enough to, to at least be aware of that with a discount, priority in first class, not priority, parcel in first class sometimes is cheaper than media mail. Next thing going out on A4 is a Corningware Amber Grab It Bowl. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's an elephant parked in it. That's why I couldn't see it right here. And it is a Vision, let me get the number here, V150B in amber for that item. 719 plus shipping that was on sale, 12% off. But these, these are the type of items I was passing on. Because for 719, even if I paid 50 cents for it or a quarter, that's a lot of space to take up. It just, I, the way my store has evolved, those items are no longer hot items for me. I'll still pick them up. I always say that. I'll, I'll still pick them up. I, I get mad at myself for doing it, taking up too much space, all that. But if your store does not look like mine, you have ample space. These are great. Great. With the lid, great. Only the lid, better. <laughs> That's in my opinion. Six, seven, nineteen plus shipping. Next thing going out on A5 is a vintage Pavilion dice set. One, two, three, four, five. Way back here. And I think these are the double die or something. It's by Cardinal, which also makes like Batgammon sets. I think I even have a new and package Cardinal Batgammon set right now. Yeah, double nine dominoes. All right, next thing going out on the desk. And it's, I already showed you over there is a mess. So I might have to put the camera down to get this. We'll see. But it is Nike Air Jordan 12 Retro in University Gold. So a 12 Retro in Gold. And I did move some of these around. So this could be worse than I was expecting. Yep, it's back there. Way to go, Drew. It's either there or there. So give me a second to dig myself out of this hole. All right, it was actually on top. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, this pair right here sold, I think, as pre as used, pre-owned, whatever. But these are minty fresh. And for these right there, Jumpman 1306900700, $200 plus shipping. Those will go through eBay's authenticity program. And that's why it was $200. I had them listed $250. So they were on sale with the 12% off. And so I sent out an offer 200 flat because that keeps it in the authenticity program, which with specifically Jordans, I'm, I'm happy to use that. It doesn't cost me anything. I don't think it costs them anything more depending on where it's shipping to because I ship it to, I think it's Arizona. Um, I'm not positive on that. And then it has to get shipped from there to wherever the person is. So they probably pay whatever the shipping cost is from that that location to the next. I don't think they have to pay both shipping costs. So eBay does eat a little of that, I think. I'm not positive. If you've bought shoes, let me know. Do you have to pay for both shipping charges? Because I don't think so. I think they just pay you the one shipping charge. So for those, $200 plus shipping. That's a great sale. Love it. Glad to see the shoes moving a little bit. Of course, with anything, if you list a bunch of something, It'll sell, a bunch of them will sell, and then it'll taper off, and they'll slowly sell the rest over time. Next thing going out, a little interesting on this one, B3B is a Florida State pin. B3B. Oh, it's going to be in this big old bag of pins, that's for sure. It's this one that looks like Florida right there. And why that's interesting is because someone reached out to me and said, hey, have you sold this? Have you sold one of these? And it was a quantity two listing i had sold one and i said yes and then there's still one in my store or something like that yes i had two and then they messaged again do you still have the other one the part about that that was weird is they're messaging me from the listing so they went to the listing contact seller and then were asking me if the item still existed even though you were already on the listing that you contacted me through i don't who knows? <laughs> Not a ton of money. Six twenty nine dollars free shipping. Next thing going out, listed, sold the next day. It doesn't even have a, a number or anything because it was sitting here. We didn't even bother shelving it at one point, but apparently it got shelved. Let's see if we can find it. Christmas drawings of Thomas Nast. Well, do you see it? Because I sure don't. All right, yeah. I would have found that without a SKU number. <laughs> 
Okay, so on D4 right here, and let me see if I can pull one out without too much work. If not, I'll just show you a picture on the screen. Well, here's the cover of it. Christmas drawings of Thomas Nast, and it's a book of prints. Not prints, as in the artist formerly known as, but prints, as in drawings. And for those, their listings were all over the place, but solds were non-existent. And then unfortunately there's 30 that are supposed to be in there. We had 29, so I must have picked out their favorite and kept it. And I raised the price that Jen had put on it by $2 because she just matched price with the cheapest. I raised it by $2 and then somebody sent me an offer and I countered with the price that Jen had originally put on. So then technically we would have got full asking price. She's still a little iffy on that area because we run sales all the time, knowing that you do have to put on an extra 10% on most items because I'm going to run a sale or I'm going to send out an offer. And those aren't supposed to be sales. Those aren't supposed to be major offers. They're supposed to be opportunities to put the item in front of somebody's face. If I send them an offer, they get an email. They get a, a notification on their, their eBay app. If I put it on sale, again, email, notification on the app. That's what it's for. It's not for to make it a better price. Sometimes, yes. But in general, I'm not trying to give a discount. I'm just trying to put an item in front of somebody's face and then send offers, you know, how long something's been listed, offers get a little better, how big it is and if I want it out of my way, how bad of a buy it was in the first place, those kind of things change. But for that right there, $37.99 free shipping. I got it from my dad and I said, I'm not sure it's iffy, so I'll list it and we'll see what happens that kind of thing. Most items I just pay them for outright, whatever I think is fair. So it sold and so I said, hey, you know, here's 10 bucks. So 37.99 free shipping and I paid 10 bucks for the item. That's more than I would have paid for that if I bought it at a garage sale. I would not have bought that for $10, but it's because it came to my door, it's my dad, those kind of things, a little more money. Next thing going out on D4 again is two blue vintage chubbs baby wipes containers right here and these have just been such a good buy such a good buy i love it and for the pair of them 23.98 free shipping i don't remember if two still goes first class i don't think it does though that's uh, 11 ounces i might be able to make that happen it's possible next thing going out it's a book handbook to be exact handbook of earth shelter design maybe that's a large book and it's over here here it is the handbook of earth shelter design and i thought this was cool i flipped through this for a while and it's just when the, you know people used to build houses in berms i mean they still do but it was kind of a trendy thing in the 60s i want to say bomb shelter type things and all the other it's actually great for hot areas. It helps reduce the amount of air conditioning you need, if at all. But I just thought it was kind of neat, all these different concepts. Look at this. What a weird deck. <laughs> hey, you want to go sit out on the deck? You want to go sit out in the hole? Very neat. And that's actually going international through Global Shipping Program. $11.99 free shipping to me. Of course, they paid some amount to eBay to ship from Kentucky to wherever they live which I think there's a way I can know. I, I want to figure that out because I, I would like to know what end of the world these things are going to. Next up on A5 is Joe Boxer black faux leather shoes, ladies boots, actually boot heels um, right there. Jen wore those a couple times. I don't think they're very comfortable. Surprise, surprise, lady shoes not being comfortable. $18.99 plus shipping. I think I sent out an offer. All right, well, I did run out of time, so that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other.